Okay, so here is the Fender 50s Road Worn Telecaster in the Lake Placid Blue. And I went ahead and sighted down the neck already. Now, see, last night we worked on rolling the fret ends because it came in with frets that were a little just sh sharp on the end there. But uh, yeah, it's got a bit too much relief for my taste, so I am going to turn the truss rod and flatten out the neck a little bit. Okay, so we're going to remove the neck to get it that truss rod adjustment. Carefully remove that guy. And there's our adjustment for the truss rod. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten. First we'll loosen a bit. Yeah, this guy's loose. So we'll give it a good maybe full turn. See where that puts us. Let's get the We've got the neck back on, got it tuned up and measured the relief. There's almost no relief in this neck now. But the funny thing is, it's actually playing pretty well. So, it may not need much relief to play well, this guitar. I'm just gonna bring the action up to where it should be, and then we'll see how it plays. So I've got the capo on at the first fret, fretting on the 17th, checking the relief at the eighth. This thing literally has very little relief, 0 0.0025, which is pretty amazing because it's playing really well. The action's at 0 0.050 or even a little bit lower. And I happen to know my guy who's getting this guitar likes low action. So there's just no buzzing going on all over the neck. Just a very forgiving neck. This is a super fat neck, by the way. Really nice old vintage style. Uh, kind of a U neck. Okay, I didn't show it on camera, but I went ahead and took the neck off and just gave it about a quarter inch turn loose on the truss rod just to put a tiny bit more relief in there. So now we're at still very little relief, 0.004. Brought the action back down to nice and low, 0 0.050, and we're playing good all over the neck again. So, I just didn't feel quite right having so little relief in there. We still got the low action, we've just got a little bit of relief now. And all we have left to do is set the intonation a little flat at the 12th. But it's almost right on. We've got the vintage style barrel saddles on this one. So each time we turn one of the screws, we're affecting two strings. E and the B went right in, and they agreed on how far back the saddle should be. Okay, we're all intimated. Sending now. Uh, in tune up and down the neck. Let's just check those electronics.
Just checking the volume between the pickups. Here's the bridge. And the neck. The neck's a little bit lower in volume, but that's kind of uh, pretty common on tellies. I could bring the, uh, the bridge pickup down a tiny, but I don't think I'll mess with it. This guy's ready to go. Just to finish up here, the guitar is strung with 10 gauge strings. And this is everything we did in the setup. And we ended up with string height at 0 .050 at the 12th, neck relief at 0 .004 at the 8th.